So we're going to start with uh, 3.2, which is slope for today. And the first question is just uh, how to make a scatter plot. And a scatter plot just means it may or may not um, have any shape that's recognizable. Just any plots with no necessary uh, relationship to each other. Could have one, but not necessarily. So we're going to start by clicking the dot. Then when you hover your mouse over the grid, you'll have your cursor. So we want to go in order. So the first one is 0, 1 that we're going to go ahead and work on. And the 0 is your x, the 1 is your y, x is your left or right movement, and y is your up or down movement. So we're going to go over here to 0, I don't move at all, and I go up 1. My next point is negative 1, 4, so that means I go over to negative 1 and up 4. The third point is 4, so I go to the right 4 and then down 3. Positive values um, for y mean you go up, negative values for y mean you go down. Um, the next value we have is 1, negative 2, so that's positive 1 to the right, down 2. And the last one is 2 and for x and then y to go up 3. All right, so question two has a little bit more pieces to it. Um, with question two, what we're going through and doing is we're giving the equation y is equal to 1.5x plus 1. And what they're asking us to do is create a table of values for x and for y. First, plug in x is equal to negative 2 then negative 1, then 0, then 1 and 2. All right, so to go through and do that for the first equation, that tells me I have my y value. I take whatever my x is and plug it inside here. So that tells me y is equal to 1.5 times negative 2 plus 1. And that is equal to negative 2. Then I plug in uh, y is negative 1. So it's going to be 1.5 times negative 1 plus 1. That's negative 1.5 plus 1. And that is just equal to a uh, negative 0.5. I'm going to do the same thing for 0. So now I have y is equal to 1.5 times 0, which is just 0 plus 1. So all of this is equal to 1. And the last two, y is equal to 1.5 times 1 plus 1. That's going to be 2.5. And the last one, y is equal to 1.5 times 2. times 2 plus 1, which is equal to, which is equal to 4. Now we're going to go ahead and what this piece is telling me is a is equal to a value and I have to put those in. But where are those pieces? Well, the first answer I got was a, the second b, c, d, and e. So I'm going to go ahead and plug those in real quick. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, make those as my dots on here. So again, x values first. So the first one is going to be negative 2 and then down 2. Then uh, negative 1 and down a half. So try to estimate this the best you can. Um, then 0 when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, y is 2.5. And again, just estimate that the best you can. And then the last one is going to be when x is 2, y is 4. And you notice that all of these are have formed a line, and that's what you're looking for, and that's going to be how you know you've done this entire question correct.